Thank you for tuning in to the one and only official track and field Bleacher Reporter. I'm your host here, bringing you the preview for the 2018 Division I NCAA Women's 3K Indoors. In 2017, it took 907-22 to qualify for the Indoor Nationals. Um, many of the top returners are back. I think it's going to take faster than 907 this year to qualify for the Nationals in um, in the 3K. But um, our champion, Danny Jones from Colorado, she's back. She's ready to rock and roll. She had a really good cross-country season this past um, fall. So she's showing that she's in shape. She's ready to go. She's our, um, re our returning champion. I mean, she has a serious, furious kick. Um, and, you know, if, if she's right with you those last 10, 15, 20 meters, then uh, I'm giving the race to Danny Jones. But uh, she's our returning um, champion, and she's um, she has one of the better PRs that, that returns. But um, Danny Jones from Colorado. Um, also, we have Carissa Schweischer. Um, she has a PR of 906.60. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention Danny Jones' PR. Danny Jones has a PR of 902.22. So um, she has one of the top returning um, PRs in the 3K. Uh, Carissa Spicer from Missouri, she has a PR of 906.60. Um, she got second in the 3K indoors in 2017, so she got second to Danny Jones. Um, so Carissa Spicer, she's she's shown already that she's in shape too, and so she may be able to um, improve on her PR. She's a really gutsy performer. She's a really gutsy runner. She likes to take, to be aggressive in the middle part of the race, so she's not afraid to take the lead. So um, if Danny Jones is going to um, outkick her, she's going to have to you know make a move in the middle of the race to stay with her. So that's going to be interesting um, this year. Also, we got Edna Kurgut from New Mexico. She has a PR of 9.13 when she sat unattached um, in New Mexico last season um, at altitude. So she ran 9.13 at altitude, which I think they converted it to like something crazy. I don't know. I don't know what the conversion rate is for that but I think it was like an 858 or 90 something but it was fast for her to run 913 at altitude showed that she was capable of running like something close to nine flat or under in the 3k so our NCAA um, cross country champion from 2017 Edna Kurgat we are going to have to watch out for her in that 3k because she may be able to put some something down ridiculous in that 3k but you know she's going to have to run with Danny Jones and Carissa Spicer, so, you know, um, she's going to have to, you know, she's definitely going to have to run a good time in order to, you know, to be there, but she's capable of doing it. Also, we got Ali Ostrander the, um, from Boise State. Uh, she's a sophomore now, indoor eligibility-wise. She's a sophomore now at Boise State, and uh, she's run uh, 8.54.27, so she has the best PR of the field. And um, Ali Ostrander, I mean, you know, everyone knows Ali Ostrander is, is tough as nails, and she's going to give you a thousand percent if she's on that line healthy. So, uh, if she runs the three k um, this this coming um, in, um, year, this coming indoor season, then Ali Ostrander is going to be right there with, amongst the rest of them. And she had a good, in, you know, she had a good cross country season. So, uh, Eleanor Pura from New Hampshire, she has uh, a PR of eight fifty five sixty eight, which she just set a few weeks ago. Um, in, de in December. So she's run 855 a few weeks ago already for this seat for this upcoming season. So she's qualified herself, I'm sure, with that time for Nationals. Um, and Ellen Prayer. Katie Rainsberger from Oregon. She has a PR of 901 21 indoors. Um, she got third indoors in the 3K. Um, she has the, she has one of the better um, PRs that returns. Um, and as, as I said to, uh, about Katie and my women's mile and 1500 preview if you want to go watch that it's down here or there or somewhere i'll link it somewhere around here but if you want to go watch that then um i talked about katie and that um and that preview the same thing applies i mean katie rainsberger has a, a good pr she got third indoors last year but in order for her to win in order for her to really you know get that one two spot she's going to have to be able to finish those last you know 15 20 meters and she's more than capable of it she's super talented so i expect that you know katie Definitely could win an NCAA championship before her um, her career is out of Oregon because she's super talented and um, and a gutsy runner. She's not afraid to try to make a move and and win the race. Um, so we'll see about that. Also, we have Samantha Nadal from Oregon. Um, she's um, a red shirt senior potentially. She I think she has some eligibility left for Oregon, um, and she might try to you know if if they clear the run. Um, this year, um, she got fourth indoors in the 3K in 2017 at Nationals. She has a PR of 905, so it isn't the best PR, but she got fourth last last year indoors in 2017. 
Um, and she, you know, she didn't have any eligibility left for cross country this past fall. So she didn't run, but, um, I feel like, you know, we definitely have to keep an eye out. So she might be a dark horse, but she got fourth. And so if she's healthy, if she's there, if she, if she's clear to run, um, indoors and outdoors, then Samantha Nadal, we're going to have to watch out. Um, because since we didn't see her, we can't forget about Samantha Nadal. Um, Indiana's Catherine Receiver. She has a PR of 903.71. She got six indoors in 2017. Um, so she returns as well. Uh, Vanessa Frazier from Stanford. She got um, fifth indoors in 2017. She ran not, uh, She has a PR of 904.78. Um, she returns as well. So I, I feel like all of our top, you know, six, seven, eight girls from th from um, women from the 3K and Indoor Nationals 2017 all return. So this, the 3K is, is looking to be a very high, hot, 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 hot event because you're going to have some of the 1,500 girls coming in, coming up. You're going to have some of the 5K girls coming in, going down. So between the, you know, that's where they're going to meet in the middle. You know, it's going to take a combination of speed and strength and, you know, gutsiness to win. And so the 3K indoors is going to be a really hot race. Um, some of my dark horses, um, Amy um, Eloise Neal from Washington. She has a PR of 917.97. So her PR is nowhere near what I have mentioned so far. But um, she doesn't run the 3K much. Um, she really kind of focuses on the mile. Um, she's run um, she's run like 434, 435 for the mile. And she got ninth indoors in 2017. Um, and then um, she's run, uh, she had, she got second this past cross country in the fall. So she has the strength. She has the, that strength as evidenced by her second place finish this past fall in cross country. So I feel like the 3K, I feel like the 3K could be her race because she's run like 411 in the 1500 outdoors. So, I mean, she could still run the mile in the 1500 and be competitive, but that 3K indoors, I feel like. If you're listening, Washington, if you're listening, you need to put Amy Eloise Neal in that 1500 because this was, this could definitely be her race. I don't feel like she probably would win the mile or the 1500, but the 3K or the 5K, I feel like, you know, Amy Eloise Neal would be a, 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 a heavy favorite. So she's a dark horse for me. Also, another dark horse for me is Lily Burden from Oregon. Um, she hasn't even run the 3K at all in college. So I expect to her to run the. I expect to see um, Lily run a 3K this coming year because she had a really good um, cross country season. She, you know, she was a good um, second place, a second stick for um, um, a low stick for Oregon um, for their team. Um, she's run 411 in the 1500 um, indoors, and like I said, she she got in like the 20th place or around the 20 place 20th place mark in cross country this past fall. And she's run like a 15.50 something or 15.40 something PR in the 5K. So she has the speed as evidence as the 4.11, 1.500. And she has the strength as well. So uh, Lily Burden is a dark horse for that 3K for me. Um, Impact freshman, we have Winnie Coletta from, um, Coletti from New Mexico. She has a PR of 9.12.32. She was the 2000, she, she ran at the 2014 World Junior Championships at the IWF 2014 World Junior Championships. She ran 9, 12, 32 there. Um, Bri, um, Whitney Kelly, she was a part of New Mexico's cross-country dominant season that they put on this year. Well, they didn't dominate the whole season because they got beat by, um, by Colorado early on. But they won in C's in a dominant fashion. So Winnie Kelly was part of that team. Um, Winnie Kelly was the number two or three runner, I think, um, for New Mexico. Um, I believe she was the number third, three runner, if I'm not mistaken. No, number, I can't remember. But she was the number, number two or three runner for New Mexico um, in cross country. And so uh, she's a freshman in, in New Mexico. So um, she's 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 definitely one to watch out for. She's the the, the t most talented freshman that we have in 2017. In the um, in the three and five k, we also have uh, Bree Oakley, who's a freshman at University of California. She um, she has a PR of nine twenty thirty four, which I think was a was a um, in route PR to her five k that she ran um, this past indoor. Um, there's really other no real freshmen that I feel like I could put as impact freshmen in the women's three k because the women's three k is so stacked. Everyone returns, and so I'm not you know shortchanging the freshmen of two thousand. 17 that, that came in as freshmen um, in 2017 to uh, out of high school, but uh, it's going to be hard. I, I'm, I, I can't see another freshman uh, really breaking up, um, breaking into that top tier group 
um, just yet. You know, you might need a couple of more years. Um, if Kate Murphy was healthy and she was at her best, maybe her, but um, but I don't know the status of her, so so we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, the women's 3K is a hot event, man. I'm gonna definitely be keeping um, tuned and stay stay tuned and watch that. I hope you guys follow it, you know, with along with me and see how it goes. We'll talk about it here. We'll discuss it here. We'll report it here. We'll sit on the sidelines and give some feedback on what happened. Who should have did what? Who should have, you know, took it out when, where? And you know, we'll just keep, you know, keep, you know, keep it going, keep the discussion going throughout the season. So please stay tuned, like and comment and subscribe to this channel if you want to, you know, stay tuned and see more as we discuss these events as the season goes along. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everything, and I hope you have a good one.